Hey everyone, it's Chris from Funtech Guys, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the PHP um, construct that is null. Um, so null goes across um, many many languages. However, I'm just I'm just talking today specifically about um, it within PHP. Now I've created a uh, null.php file which is blank and just pull up my Sublime and here we go. So I'm just going to quote start by quoting the uh, the PHP manual. Now, null is a special value which represents a variable which has no value. So what does that mean? That that means if I said, let's just say fruit equals null, what I'm doing here is I'm saying, okay, I want to declare the fact that I want a variable called fruit. However, I want it to have no value because later on I may use it or, or whatnot. So right now I'm saying I'm going to be using the um, the variable fruit, but it has no value, and that is where we would use it. Um, use null, the null construct. Now, there's three ways that you can get a um, a null valuation and a uh, no, null value. Sorry, and that is here where we've declared it. We've said right, okay, fruit has no value. We can also say uh, name. And so right right now I'm declaring the val uh, variable name, and I'm just give, you know just giving it the name of Chris. And but later on I may not want to use this variable, or I may want to use it for something else. So I just say unset. Open close my parentheses. Name. And what we're doing here is is we're unsetting the um, the name and its value. So now name has the value of null, which has no value. I know that sounds a, a, a bit mad, but what all we're doing here is we're saying, right, basically take the value away from name and it now um, evaluates to null. Okay, and the uh, the remaining time that it will happen is if you just declare a variable, so let's just say age. So right now, I have I have not set anything to do with age. Age is nowhere on the page, so therefore age equals null. Now, if you, if you did do this, more often than not you will get an error. Um, depending on how your error error reporting is, um, but um, this also evaluates to to null. Now there's a um, there's a way of there's a way of checking whether it, um, something has a null value. So if I said um, let's just do a quick if statement, and I said um, I use the PHP function is underscore null. Open close my parentheses, and um, I just want to say right is fruit no if it is let's just echo um, fruits no man come over to my page reload and fruits no man I don't know why I said that and anyway um so that's how we um, how we check if something has a, uh, a null value now um, quite commonly the um, null value is confused with the boolean false. Now this this is not true. They, um, null does not equal zero or false. Um, so there's a way of checking this. And if we go ahead and just said right um, results equals um, let's say fruit is equal to false. And we want to check the typeset. So right now what we're doing is we're saying is fruit equal to not uh, equal to false, and we're checking the typeset with the tri triple equals. And if you haven't done so already, I, um, I advise that you go and check my videos on uh, comparison operators and and what you know the, the triple equals means. But basically, what we're doing is we're saying, um, is this exactly this? Um, because we want to know whether the type is is the exact same and the value is the exact same. So if I just um. Um, a file dump on results. Save this. Come over. Reload. False. Null. Um, fruit does not equal false. False. However, um, there's what uh, what confuses people quite often is if I take it off the uh, the typeset and I say right, okay, what what we're doing now is we're not checking whether these no values pretty much reload and that's true that is where people get confused so you need to check with the triple equals do they match up exactly now um, one further way is uh, what we've just done and that's with the um, is null function 
um, and that is in a nutshell the uh, the null construct um, so I'm going to leave the video there and I'm going to move swiftly on to the next one so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you've taken away something from it um, and if you have done so then please like and subscribe uh, by clicking on the, uh, the subscribe button down below thanks very much for watching take care